Friday night, rewind, St. Petersburg times, night and Cody season five, if you don't know, get on your job, a stock off you won't see, game of the week with the home team, in-depth coverage on three, hold on, hey. now you see the story and the stats, interviews and facts, TampaBay.com, man, we do it like that. Hey there, it's John Cody with Friday Night Rewind, and I'm here with Joey Knight. We're at the Citrus Bowl, where today Armwood has captured the Class 6A state championship. It's third in uh, program history, 40 to 31 over Miami Central. And like last year, they got off to a quick start, but unlike last year, uh, they didn't fade all the way into probably what would have been oblivion. But they made it interesting, Cody. The Hawks led 16 to nothing at one point, thanks to two pick sixes, one by Jarvis McCall, one by Leon McQuay the third. But Central rallied. Little Armwood self-destruction in the special teams made it very interesting, but in the end, this was a montage of Armwood season. We saw a little Alvin Bailey escapism, a little Matt Jones athleticism, a little defensive opportunism. The end result, a nine-point victory, and a victory that the Hawks insist no one, not even the FHSAA, will be able to take away from them. No. No, deep down, no, man, because we know that we work too hard, man just for uh, people outside of this, outside of the field to take this from us, man. So we just happy and deep down, we know we the champs, man. Hawks weren't particularly sharp on offense and they came out very slow. That defense though, saving them. You see here Jarvis McCall returning this interception for a touchdown. He's in there somewhere. If you keep watching, he kind of emerges and there he is right there. We got him. Uh, that started things off. Eric Stryker had a big hit also on that first series. The second series, it was Liam McQuay's turn. I think we were cover two, and I saw the number two guy on the opposite side of me trying to come up the scene. I was watching the quarterback eyes because he stares down his uh, receivers. So I just uh, went over there and jumped the ball and caught it and ran. You just jumped the route? Yeah. Okay. So those were big momentum swings. I mean, they really were. But you got to give Coach Lockett and his staff credit because those guys never stopped. I mean, they could have they could have folded their 10 early, and we never saw any of that. 16 to nothing. And then, like we say, a little self-destruction, particularly uh, a punt snap sails over Feely's head. That leads to a, a Joseph Yearby touchdown for Central, as you see right there. And uh, things just snowballed a little bit for the Hawks midway through the game. Yeah, I really thought the momentum was clearly in the uh, Rockets' favor at that point. But Central comes out. They take the opening second half kickoff, fumble on their second play from scrimmage. The very next play, Alvin Bailey finds Wade Edwards, who's only about 90%. He's got a little bit of a tweaked knee. He goes for a 32-yard touchdown. Bailey kind of rolls to his right. Wade is there quarantined on the left side, 23 to 14 at that point. But there's still a lot of ball to be played. And Joel, you remember last year, Matt Jones had a big, long touchdown run and then kind of said afterwards he had gotten tired, the weather had gotten to him. It was hotter out today. But Matt Jones had a little bit of juice left in the fourth quarter. Well, I wasn't sure if he was going to have that extra juice. He had 38 yards on his first seven carries, and then he kind of disappeared until this play, Cody. He goes out, gets it locked in on a safety one-on-one -on -one coverage, makes a little bit of a move, flies down the right side, and Bailey hits him with a textbook long throw. It was beautiful. Uh, no, nah, we had Ben did that. That was, that was a design play. And Matt Jones, man, that's, that's an athlete, man. Anybody that's down here going to Florida, man, they need to just leave it alone because he's a hell of an athlete, man. And he he makes plays. He told me what he was doing, so I just had to make the play and get it to him. Oh, uh, man, we're just uh, playing a safety one-on-one. -on -one. I give him inside move to the out. And um, all I think in my head, man, catch the ball, please catch the ball, Matt. I put my hands up, it dropped right there, and I'm off to the races. Yeah, that pretty much seals the deal, but Central would score again, give those guys credit. They defended their 6A title valiantly. Um, Armwood gets the ball back, really can't run out the clock. Central gets one last gasp effort. But on fourth down, Austin Stock is sacked. You see right there, Lonzel Davis and Eric Stryker, who had a monstrous game, shut the door. That's it. The Hawks start celebrating. And again, they just reiterated, no matter what happens with this FHSA investigation, nobody can take this away. And that is it for a fifth season of Friday Night Rewind. We kind of muddled our way through this one, Joey and I putting it together every week. Uh, it was uh, tough. It took us to Wakulla, though. I mean, what more oh. could you ask for? Um, there is another video on our site, uh, tampabay.com slash home team. We were at the plant game. Uh, the great Willie Allen shot that game. So that's up there. Make sure you check that out. And uh, 
we'll be back next year. Are you you're in contract negotiations right now? In some form or fashion, I will be back even if I have to take a pay cut. <laughs>